John here guys and today we're here with the Fox here Caesar. This is a racing machine Biden fly. Now there's a lot of racing style crafts that you can go out buy take to a racetrack and fly them around. But what about something that you could actually compete with? What about something that uses most of the same components that I use whenever I build? In fact, Fox here it seems to be the most popular component choice for racers. And this happens to have the same ESC and flight controller that I run, the same camera that I run, the same antenna that I run, the same size motors that I run. Is it starting to click now? Because I saw one of our out of town racers come in. He had one of the great binder flies, the Nazgul Evoke. But when it came to wanting to try out his hand at racing, he bought a similar high flight racing style binder fly. But that thing had giant 2506 motors and it was very heavy. And as I thought it might, it exploded. It didn't even last one round at the night spot. So I asked Fox here if they'd be willing to let me try their racing frame because after looking at all of the options out there, this was the most like people are actually racing. A lot of the racers have that mentality that you need to build your own craft. But car drivers that want to go to a track don't follow that same philosophy. They're going to go buy and take it on a track. So in the same way, can you buy a bind and fly and can it give you the same performance? Take a look if we pop the top in order to see this V3 flight controller. This is the one with the BMI gyro on board. I installed my own ghost receiver because I'm going to be using the ghost. There is a little bit of mounting spot down here that I can tie that to right there. I'm going to just mount that on top of this connector. Of course, you have the Foxier ESC. Speaking of Fox here ESCs have you seen this new 60 amp long version the current 60 amp is super thick and wide uh, but this one takes in the other direction for your more narrower build so that you don't have ESC hanging off the side but for this type of a build the 40 amp that's in here will work really nice you can see very professional soldering look this is Foxier binder fly racing quad nice you think anybody who's too lazy to build a race quad that wants to come race how much is that i think it's like 340. Ooh, yeah so it's uh, about the it's similar yeah. price I'll, I'll compare a price of a home built to yes. this i'm curious how is that compare so if the yeah. price is equal now the components are up they basically build it for you for free pretty light it's got 2207.5 1960 kv yeah. motors feels and pretty, feels pretty rigid it's pretty rigid similar to like a switchback so not a ton yeah. of protection up front but if you yeah. want a lighter fast quad i'm not a big fan of standoffs but you know that's true a lot of people out there they're fine with standoffs so and it's got the same yeah. ESC flight controller and camera that most of us use for racing already. Yeah, but like it's very skinny. There are people out there who likes very skinny. Yeah, no like the light switch. Yeah, like no protection frames, you know. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. That's true. At the nice spot, our our builds yeah. are a little bit heavier. But you want to fly like three times a week, you know, and you're on the budget. That's true. You gotta you gotta be flying a little bit heavier. But this is very light. Pretty good tune out of the box. Yeah, this is very nicely built. Yeah, that's a good one. Maybe not for me, but for someone. Yeah, if you're gonna build your own quad, you're not gonna buy one of these anyway. Yeah. But if building is too much for you, but you still wanna try a race and actually do a racing quad. Oh yeah. Cause did you see that one Giannis had? He had the iFlight one, but mm. the motors were too big for really racing, 25 mm. millimeters wide. It's too wide, you're gonna break them. And the first night he broke a motor. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, first night he yeah. broke a motor and an arm. So it only lasted, now most people don't fly at the nice spot. Yeah. But I think this would do a little bit better because it's much lighter, the motors are a lot skinnier. It's yeah. 22 millimeters. Oh, that looks good, you know, looks like a legit uh, racing frame. So if you wanted to get started flying, there's a number of freestyle five inch options. However, if you wanted to start racing, there's not a lot of options on there. So I wanted to find out what was the best racing option you could get on the market if you did not want to build your own. If you wanted to just buy off the shelf, come to a race. Foxier Caesar has all the components that we typically use. It has the same ESC and flight controller combo that I use. It has the same camera that I use. It has the same antenna that I use. And it has the same size motors that we typically use for racing. This is a 2207.5 1960 KV motor that you would run on 6S. Everything we would already use. Check out the arm design here. You do have a little bit of motor protection not a ton uh, so it is typical you have your arms that meet in the middle so you have no wiggles in there it's a very light 
racing option. 252 grams without props. And now if that ain't a racing build, I don't know what is. If you were to add props and strap to that, probably add another 25 grams, so you'd be looking at about 280, which is very light. And that's what you want for a racing build. You don't want a super heavy build. That iFlight one looked very heavy with those chunky motors. So this hopefully will keep your stuff a little bit safer now. It is designed similarly to that 533 switchback. And a lot of those beginners though, they wanna show up for a race and they don't necessarily wanna build. And so like not every race racer that goes out to a car track needs to build their own car. And that's kind of what this is for, the people that don't wanna to have to do that. So the Fox Series Caesar is the best racing behind the fly we've ever seen for FPV. It's really one of the most classic examples of a ready to fly racing quad that you can actually go on and fly on the track. Every racing quad prior to this has been a light version of a racing quad, a faster version of a racing quad, a heavier version of a racing quad, but not something that is really identical to what most of the top racers would actually fly. And this time you can actually get it. I think the reason for that is though, in most of the times in the past, companies assume that racers are going to build all of their own racing machines. And that's mostly true. But now the hobby is expanding and we have people that may be good enough on the simulator to want to come to a couple of races, but don't want to have to spend the 10, 20, 30 hours on the bench learning how to set up beta flight, learning how to solder, all those things. You can just skip to the end, pay to unlock, get your racing quad, and it'll perform identically to what you would expect from your simulator practice. this will so let's test this out it's actually quite light and it looks very much like a similar amount of styling protection and the build is immaculate here it's very similar to like a switchback pro and let's see if it performs that way 